All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about being a good manager of your freight broker business. I think there's a difference between people who are successful in business and people who are not as successful, and a part of that is how well you manage the business. I think sometimes we can get so caught up into the day-to-day -day activities, into the weeds of things of the business that we overlook, we forget about the macro perspective. And don't get me wrong, I think it's really important, very important as a matter of fact, to manage those things that happen on a day in and day out basis, put out some fires from time to time, but not to the exclusion of the macro perspective of your business. Because when you have a good understanding of what's coming, you can see it coming, then you can better plan for that. And you can put measures in place to make sure that your business, your company is able to get through those tough times. And when you can't see that, it usually causes issues. Some issues that could run your business off track and could be very hard to get back on track. So today I want to talk to you about three things that we're focusing on this year in 2023 in our business. We'd love to know what it is that you guys are going to focus on as well. Drop that in the comment section below, but we're going to talk about these three things today. So come on inside, sit back, relax, and let's get down into the business. All right, so first off, let's talk about what we're going to be paying a whole lot of attention to this year. And that, of course, is due to the current environment that we're in, and that is profit margins. Profit margins are important. That's what decides whether we make good money or whether we don't make as much money as we would like. So we're going to pay very close attention to our profit margins. One of the things that we're going to be looking to increase profit margins off of is basically on both sides, the shipper and the carrier side. You see, you have some people that pay a lot of attention to negotiating with carriers, but we forget about negotiating with shippers. We go to shippers with the lowest price and then we try and be sharks when it comes to negotiating with carriers. I don't think that is the thing that you should do, I think that's a mistake because it could eventually cause you problems with the number one service that you offer to shippers, and that is trucking capacity. As freight brokers, we have to understand that if you continue to go to carriers with lower and lower pricing, well, it's just a matter of time before those carriers are going to seek other options. They're going to pass on the loads that you're bringing. And if you can't move loads, then you can't make money and your profit margins are definitely going to suffer. So we have to pay very close attention to that. So when we're thinking about profit margins, we have to think about negotiating on both sides of the house, on the shipper side and yes, on the carrier side. All right, now the next thing that I wanna to talk to you about, what we'll be paying a lot of attention to this year, and I would definitely suggest that you give it some attention as well, is diversifying your customer base. I think this is really important because sometimes when you come into this business, you get comfortable. You may be moving freight already. You may have a background already in, let's say, refrigerated freight or flatbed freight, and you get comfortable within that space and you just want to move freight in flatbed or in reefer freight. And that's okay as long as things are going well, but you know how it goes. There are always periods of time where a particular type of freight that you're moving may have a slow period. But if you have a diverse customer base, if you're moving different types of freight, then you have the best of both worlds. You can move and keep moving freight when those slowdowns happen within the refrigerated freight, if just say that you're focused on refrigerated freight. You still have dry van freight, you still have um, uh, flatbed freight that you can tap into. When you just focus on one type of freight, that could cause some issues when slowdowns happen. So it's just something to think about. I definitely think that that's something that you should do is diversify your customer base because it gives you the best chance of winning and continuing to win even when things slow down. Next, what I wanna talk about that we'll be paying more attention to this year is LTL freight. I know a lot of times we can get so focused on FTL freight that we forget about LTL freight. But what you have to understand is that your shippers are working with you because you are a problem solver. So if you're one of those type of people that don't want to tackle LTL freight because of the problems that it can present, then you probably need to rethink that. You are the problem solver they're looking for. And if you can get access to LTL carriers or you can get access to people who move LTL freight, then you are definitely a big benefit to your customers. And what you have to understand is they work with you because of the services that you provide, because of the diversity of the services that you provide. So that's something to think about. What we also have to look at is that shippers move freight via LTL because it's more of a price convenience. You're gonna get a better price on LTL freight than you would a full truckload. The next thing that you need to be looking at is that some of your shippers work with smaller customers. So they don't always need a full truckload. Oftentimes they're gonna need LTL trucks or LTL space. If you can provide that, 
then you'll definitely be in the position so that you can make the most money and of course provide the best services to your shipper. All right, so those are the three things that we'll be paying the most attention to this year in our freight brokerage business to try and make sure that we keep our business on track, to try and make sure that we're in the best position to continue to progress. Because there's a difference between people who succeed in this business and people who are just in business. You don't wanna be the latter. You wanna be a person that's managing your business well so that you can get the most out of your business. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I certainly hope this information has been helpful. Don't forget, drop the comment in the comment section. Let us know what you'll be focusing on this year. If you're interested in learning more about the freight brokerage business, I'll leave a free link in the description. It's my five video series and it's titled How the Load Movement Process Work. It'll give you an opportunity to come into the office with me and you can watch me as I move loads, talk to shippers and carriers so you can get a better understanding of how this business works. Just click on the link in the description box and it'll give you a chance to sign up for that five video series so you can see exactly how it works. Now, one last thing before I go, just in case you haven't purchased your own load board, but you wanna have some idea of how it works so that your learning curve is not as steep. Here's what I wanna do for you. I'm gonna leave you a free video right here that shows me in the office using a load board to find carriers, to source rates, and yes, to post our loads. That way you can get an idea of how it works before you go out and purchase your own. Until the next time, I wish you the very best in your life and business. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.